Okay, so today we are going to start an all-purpose sourdough starter from scratch. All you need is a pint-sized jar with a cover. It does not have to seal. Water and all-purpose flour. If you are using a scale, uh, I'm going to go through the weight measurements for weighing your sourdough starter, and I will also go through the imperial measurements using cups. Okay, so here we have a clean jar. We are going to add one third cup of flour, or 50 grams. So one third cup or 50 grams. We are going to add one quarter cup of water or 50 grams of water. Then we're going to stir it up. The consistency of your sourdough starter should be like a thick pancake batter. So that is what it should look like when it is all stirred up and ready. You're going to take your cover and just stick it on top of your sourdough starter, and then it's going to sit on your countertop uh, in a draft-free, warmer area to ferment for 12 hours. So after 12 hours, you're ready to feed your sourdough starter. You feed your starter once every 24 hours after the first 12 hours. So it sits for 12 hours, we're going to feed it, and then it's going to sit for 24 hours thereafter, and we're going to feed it once a day after that. I always keep two jars. So this is the starter that was sitting for 12 hours. I'm going to take from it and feed into my clean jar. So we're going to use the exact same measurements that we did before. So we're gonna do one third cup or 50 grams of flour. We're gonna do one quarter cup or 50 grams of water. From this jar, we're going to take about a heaping teaspoon and we're going to put it into the new starter or the new feed. And then you're just going to stir it up. The consistency should be the same as the first time. So it should be like a thick pancake batter. And then you place a cover on it and it's going to sit on the counter for 24 hours. And then you're going to do the exact same thing again the next day. What is left in this jar, if you are not making bread, but for the purpose of April, because we're using discard, all of this will be discarded into my discard jar in the fridge. When starting one from scratch, I would recommend not keeping the discard until you start to see some activity in your sourdough starter. So once it starts to get active and bubbly, then you can start keeping the discard. So this is my discard jar. It stays in the fridge. I just add to it every single day. So I am going to dump this entire thing into the discard jar and it's gonna go right back into the fridge. We can use this for tons of different recipes that we're going to go over in April. So every single day, you're going to feed into your clean jar one third cup of flour or 50 grams, one fourth cup of water or 50 grams, and then a heaping teaspoon or 10 grams of your starter into the clean jar. This gets discarded into your jar in the fridge. This jar gets washed out. And then tomorrow, you're going to feed into the clean jar that you washed out. And you're going to keep going back and forth between the jars every single day. And your starter will just keep getting more active and more active. And you will have lots of discard in your fridge to use for all of the recipes that we're gonna go over in April.